Welcome to Mandoe's tutorial for the Manage page. This video will outline the basic features of Manage, but if you ever get lost or want to know more, look for the blue chat icon in the bottom right of the screen for step-by-step -step help articles and chat support. First, we will get familiar with the interface. For networks of four or more displays, be sure to watch our Manage Advanced video after this. At the top left of the page, there is the Studio button, where you can create more content. Just under this is the Orientation button. If your network has both landscape and portrait displays, you can switch between them here. In the All Layouts tab, you can see all your created layouts. Click on each layout to see what content is currently scheduled to the playlist. You can have multiple layouts scheduled to any display, which will play alphabetically. Each layout can have multiple pieces of content added to create a playlist. You can use a mix of studio files, images, and videos. Let's add some content to see how it works. Click the My Content tab to see all your uploaded or saved files. You can organize your content using folders. Add by dragging and dropping content into a layout. Once added, you can drag content up and down to set the playlist order. This content will automatically play with a continuous schedule. Scheduling can be assigned to both the layout and the individual pieces of content within the layout. To edit a schedule, look for the calendar icon and choose between a date range or advanced schedule. Date range allows you to select a start and end date for your content, such as a limited run special. To control which display a layout plays on, click the tag icon to view the tag assignment options. Select one or more individual displays or use all the displays option. Click Save and Publish to push your updates. To add a new layout, click the plus icon next to your currently selected layout. Let's choose a layout with two zones, which will allow you to show two different videos at once. Let's call it Split Breakfast. Once you have added the layout, drag and drop content into each zone. Studio files will automatically adapt to the new zone dimension. However, we recommend opening Studio to tweak templates so they are perfect for each zone. You can jump directly into Studio for that zone by clicking the Create button in the Zone playlist. So this layout plays during breakfast hours. Let's create an advanced schedule for the layout. In Advanced Schedule, you can create one or more rule sets, with each one made up using a combination of date range, months, days of the week, and time range. We only want the layout to play in the morning during the week, so we choose a combination of weekdays and time range. Select Monday to Friday, and set the time range as 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. Click Apply, check the tag assignment, and then Save and Publish to update our displays. Looking back to our left menu, you will see an icon for each of your displays. Clicking each icon will filter the layouts so that you only see the ones tagged to play on that display. Below the display icons, there is the Add a new display option. Each new display requires an additional media player or the downloaded player app and will require its own monthly subscription. In the Widget Gallery tab, you will find all of the widgets available with your subscription. Widgets can get dragged into a layout just like a piece of content. Finally, on the bottom left, you will see the Display and Account Settings options. In Display Settings and Tags, you will be able to adjust naming, orientation, tags, and other settings associated with each of your displays. And that's all we have for the basic Manage page. Be sure to watch our Manage Advanced video after this.